twelfth Sunday after Pentecost, Year B, from the Gospel according to John. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood abide in me, and I in them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We're used to the idea of food abiding in us, shaping us in more ways than one. We're perhaps less aware that we abide in our food, the food we seek shaping the type of environment in which we choose to live our lives because we tend to cultivate what we desire. The food Solomon seeks to cultivate in Gibeon while abiding in the midst of dysfunctional dynastic dynamics and inter-ethnic strife is wisdom. And as our psalmist reminds us, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Now this fear is not so much a shaking in one's boots as much as it is an acknowledgement that divine works, not human, have given Israel the lands of the nations. If the works of God's hands are faithfulness and justice, and all his commandments are sure, then this acknowledgement can be no doctrine of discovery or of manifest destiny, promising unfettered access to wealth and power. Instead, it must be a call to stewardship. And stewardship requires an advanced ability to discern between good and evil. Our second reading shifts the scale, addressing self-governance rather than the rule of a kingdom. We too, as individuals, are called to discernment because what we desire, we will cultivate world around us. We profess that Jesus' flesh is true food and his blood is true drink, so that those who eat this flesh and drink this blood abide in him and he in us. When we participate in communion, therefore, we commit ourselves not simply to putting a wafer in our mouths, but to the cultivation of a Jesus-shaped world. Jesus speaks in our gospel reading of eternal life and lifelessness. Jesus speaks of more than just the Eucharist here. If Jesus' body is our true food and his blood our true drink, then we must do everything in our power to cultivate the body of Christ in our own person, in the church, and in the world around us. If we deny that body, we deny life itself. If we lay claim to that body, then that life we have claimed will extend far beyond our own years on this earth. In the name of the God of all creation, even the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.